Hello and welcome to my channel, I Win to Lose Gaming. The Chief Justice of Fontaine, Nouvellet, has descended upon us as a playable laser. In today's video, we'll take a look at how great a Constellation Zero laser is with the free-to-play friendly 4-star weapon, the Prototype Amber. Besides being the stalwart Chief Justice of Fontaine's convoluted legal system, Nouvellet spends his time sipping various waters and shooting giant laser beams of death. Fun fact, his idle animation is currently the only one that I'm aware of that applies an element to himself, which is Hydro in this case. In this video, we'll go over his kit, his solo damage output, a few team showcases, an Abyss 12 run, and of course, my thoughts and opinions on Nouvellet. Let's take a look at our Kamehameha Dispenser's build. He's using the prototype Amber at Refinement 5. For his artifacts, he's using the Mara Chasi Hunter, which provides him with 36% crit rate to balance out his lopsided crit ratio. He's of course at Constellation 0 throughout this entire video, and his talents are at a fabulous 10, 10, and 10. <laughs> Let's start off with his kit, his normal attack as Water Seeks Equilibrium. Well, unfortunately, his normal attacks as well as his quick release charge attack scales off of attack. And if you don't know by now, he's an HP% percent scaling character. As we can see, because he is built with an HP% percent build, these attacks are largely unremarkable. However, by simply holding down that left mouse button, Nouvellet begins charging his laser, and then he shoots a massive freaking laser beam that deals damage based on his HP. This giant laser attack doesn't drain stamina, it hits 8 times, and it drains his HP until he's at less than 50% HP. As we can see, the charge time is comically long, but the damage is very impressive, with just a couple of these laser beams destroying our poor Regisvine friend. Nouvellet is also able to move quite nimbly and aim his laser at will. With high enough mouse speed, I do wonder if he's able to do his maximum DPS to everything around him, but I'm not sure how exactly the damage on his laser is registered. If anyone knows if super fast camera speed actually makes him hit things that are spread out for full damage, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Up next is his elemental skill, O oh, Tears I Shall Repay. His elemental skill is admittingly not all that impressive, doing a quick bit of hydro damage, scaling off of his max HP, and generating 3 to 4 hydro particles. But more importantly, it gives Nouvellet blue balls. These three blue balls allow him to erect his laser cannon instantly. Holding down his charge attack will instantly relieve himself of three blue balls that are near him, and each blue ball relieved will heal him for 16% of his max HP. Very fitting for when it comes to relieving blue balls. Let's talk a bit more about how blue balls work. Fortunately, they're not nearly as frustrating as their name might imply. Nouvellet cannot relieve his blue balls by simply touching them. Instead, he has to charge up a charged attack in order to absorb up to three blue balls. These blue balls also so last quite a long time, for 15 seconds to be exact. Up next is his ultimate, O oh, Tides I Have Returned. After a very long animation, Nouvellet's ultimate deals one instance of skill damage and two instances of waterfall damage. More importantly, it rizzes Nouvellet up so much that now he has six blue balls. This allows Nouvellet to prematurely fire two of his giant laser cannons in quick succession. Huh. 
But wait! That's not all! Nuvolet's passive significantly increases the damage of his giant laser. By having any teammate trigger any Hydro-related reaction, Nuvolet will gain one stack of past Draconic Glories, up to three stacks. This makes his laser do 110%, 125%, and 160% respectively. This multiplier works like Yomiya's skill, where it's its own multiplier. Keep in mind that triggering the same Hydro-related reaction multiple times doesn't activate these stacks more than once. So in other words, you need three different Hydro Reactions. In this example, I did Vaporize, Electrocharged, and Frozen to get three stacks. We can see in this clip that Nouvellette is indeed doing 60% more damage with three stacks of this passive, which is an absolutely massive enlargement of his giant rod of laser. Nouvellette's second passive also increases his damage by providing up to 30% additional higher damage based on his current HP. This is why his damage decreases a bit throughout his laser's duration as his HP sunk under 80%, wherein this passive does not provide its full damage buff. Alright, so now that we have an understanding of Nuvolet's full kit, let's see his whole kit in action. <laughs> well, to no surprise our Regis Fine friend couldn't even last a single round of punishment from Nuvolet's balls and lasers. We're gonna need a volunteer who can take much more of a pounding. Like our robot chicken friend. Fortunately, our robot chicken friend is able to take a lot more punishment than our ex, the Regisvine friend. None of Nuvolet's teammates are boosting his damage in this example. And after four rounds of lasers, Nuvolet handily single-cycled our robot chicken friend. Now the next topic is actually a bit of a tricky one, and that is team building for Nuvolet. Nuvolet deals a lot of base damage. However, because he doesn't scale with attack, and since he scales off of HP, there currently aren't a whole lot of buffers that are great with him. And because he really enjoys having three unique Hydro interactions, this means that we need three other elements on his team. Interestingly enough, for enhancing his personal damage as much as possible, Kazuha and Archaic Petra Zhongli are unironically two of his best options. The fourth teammate is just there to activate any other Hydro reaction besides Swirl or Crystallize. Each tick is doing around 41,000 damage, which is quite good all things considered for a Constellation Zero prototype Amber Nouvellette. Being a Hydro character that enjoys having a bunch of elements on his team, it's no surprise that Hyper Bloom is a great option for him as well. While his personal damage is lower in a Hyper Bloom team, Hyper Bloom easily makes up for the damage loss, especially if he had Nahida. Now in this clip, my Nahida is a Constellation 2, so it's not going to be an accurate representation of how your Hyper Bloom is going to perform, but you guys get the idea. But what about a completely free-to-play friendly team with no other 5 stars? This is the especially tricky part given that Kazuha, Zhongli, and Nahida Hyper Bloom or Bloom variants are likely his best teams. Well, this is what I came up with to maximize his personal damage output. Yeah, it's goofy. It's an archaic Petra Goro. Goro is uniquely suitable for this because he actually pulls in Crystallizes, which gets rid of that annoying pick up the crystal minigame. Also on his team, we have a Constellation 6 Viridae and veneer sucrose and a flexible fourth non-hydro teammate. For the fourth slot, I chose a shielder. This goofy team is still enabling Nouvellet to output 34k laser ticks and comfortably single cycles our robot chicken friend. <laughs> As for Abyss 12, this team fared just fine, although it's worth keeping in mind that the Abyssal Moon currently heavily favors Nouvellet. I'll leave the full run showcase at the end of the video for those that want to see it in action, but this team was able to complete the top half in well under the 9 star recommended times.
So yeah, Nuvalet is a really interesting and awesomely fun character to use. Blasting your enemies with his giant laser cannon just feels really, really good and cathartic. Now, one weakness that is important to acknowledge is that at Constellation Zero, Nuvalet is easily interrupted and will get knocked around. Hence why I do often prefer running some kind of shielder with him. Now this is somewhat mitigated by his great range as well as great mobility, but it is still definitely a problem. As for his power level, while being an HP scaling character, his base damage is quite high, but that also comes with the downside of not having literally the best buffer in the game, Bennett, as a viable teammate. And currently, team building for him feels quite awkward, especially if you don't have any of the other top tier 5 star characters like Kazuha Zongli and Nahida. Currently, there just aren't any amazing supports for HP scaling characters outside of honestly just Kazuha, or even supports that focus on an HP draining mechanic. I personally expect for the future Fontaine meta to introduce supports that might be much more appropriate for a DPS character like Nuvalet. Also, Nuvalet needing three other non-hydro and different elements on his team to maximize his laser damage is oddly restrictive, not allowing him to use a hydro teammate. Also, his rotations can feel quite awkward because you do really want to get one of each elemental reaction from your teammates. Regardless, he already feels very powerful even without a team that heavily favors him, and I personally expect him only to get better as time goes on. Let me know what you think about our favorite laser cannon down below, and feel free to stick around to finish watching the showcase. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out. Let's go! 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 Let's go!